Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about study of phonocardiogram. This topic is present in the subject medical electronics. Let us start discussing about the function of the heart. The human heart is a four-chambered pump with the two atria for the collection of blood from the veins and two ventricles for pumping out the blood to the atries. The right side of the heart pumps the blood to the pulmonary circulation that is to the lungs and the left side of the heart pumps blood to the systemic circulation that is to the rest of the body. The blood from the pulmonary circulation returns to the left atrium through the pulmonary veins and the blood from the systemic circulation returns to the right atrium through the superior or inferior vena cava. Two sets of valves control the flow of blood. They are AV valves, atrioventricular valves, that is mitral and tricuspid valve. These valves are located between the atria and the ventricles and the semilunar valve, that is aortic and pulmonary valve. These two valves, that is aortic and pulmonary valve, is located between the ventricles and the atries. The cross-sectional view of the heart is shown below. In this diagram, we have SA node. The SA node is a sinoatrial node where the origin of the heart beat starts. Then we have AV node, that is atrioventricular node. Here, the flow of blood is being indicated. Animation of heart walls opening and closing. Flow of blood to the heart and from the heart. The given animation represents the flow of blood to the heart and from the heart. The blue color indicates that impure blood is passed to the lungs where it gets purified and the red color indicates that pure blood from the lungs is passed to the heart. Let us discuss about the electrical system that is happening in our heart. The periodic activity of the heart is controlled by an electrical conducting system. The electrical signal originates in specialized pacemaker cells in the right atrium that is SA node and is propagated through the atria to the AV node, a yeah, delay junction and to the ventricles. The electrical action potential excites the muscle cells and causes the mechanical contraction of the heart chambers. Mechanical system. This is the representation of the mechanical system. This picture indicates how the atria fills with the blood and how the ventricles fills with the blood. Now we see the contraction as well as expansion of the heart. The contraction phase of the ventricles is called systole. The ventricle systole is followed by a resting or filling phase that is called the diastole. The mechanical activity of the heart includes blood flow, vibrations of the chamber walls and opening and closing of the valves. The systole is subdivided into atrial systole, isovolemic contraction and ejection period. The diastole is subdivided into isovolemic relaxation, rapid filling and diastasis. Now we discuss about the phonocardiogram that is PCG. The graphical record of the heart sound is known as phonocardiogram. Here. The word cardio means heart. The device which is used to measure 
heart sound is known as phonocardiograph. Asculation, that is the technique of listening heart sound produced by the organs and the blood vessels of the body is known as asculation. In PCG, different types of heart sounds are measured. The heart sounds are due to the vibrations set up in the blood inside the heart by sudden closure of valves. In abnormal heart, additional sounds are measured. These additional heart sounds are known as murmurs. Murmurs are generally caused by improper opening of the valves or by regurgitation. It results when the valves do not close completely and allow some backward flow of blood. Let us discuss about the classification of the heart sound. Heart sound is divided into four types. They are valve closure sound, ventricular filling sound, valve opening sound and extra cardiac sound. Now we see about the origin of heart sounds. The heart sounds are produced by the mechanical events that occur during the heart cycle. These sounds can be from the movement of the heart wall, closure of the valves and turbulence and leakage of the blood flow. The first sound which corresponds to the R wave of the ECG is longer in duration, lower in frequency and greater in intensity when compared to the second sound. Second heart sound is usually higher in pitch than the first. Its frequency range is 50 hertz to 70 hertz. The third heart sound is extremely weak vibration. Its frequency is below 30 hertz. Murmur produces much high pitch sounds. Sometimes its frequency range is 100 hertz to 600 hertz. Now we discuss about a lump sound that is generated at the heart. The first heart sound is heard, dull, prolonged, often referred as lump sound. It occurs at the beginning of the ventricular systole. It is generated due to closure of atrioventricular valves. Its frequency is 30 to 80 cycles per second that is CPS. It varies from 0 0.09 seconds to 0.16 second and its average is 0.14 second. Now we discuss about dub sound. It is sharp and short usually described as dub. It occurs at the end of ventricular systole. Its frequency is 150 to 200 cycles per second. Its duration is 0 0.11 second. It is generated due to closure of semilunar valve. Lapped up sound representation. discuss about the valve closure sound. This valve closure sound occurs at the beginning of the system that is the first heart sound and at the beginning of the diastole that is the second heart sound. The first heart sound is due to the closure of mitral and tricuspid valves. The first heart sound lasts for 0.1 to 0.12 second and its frequency range is 30 to 50 hertz. The second heart sound is due to closure of the aortic and pulmonary valves. The second heart sound lasts for 0 0.08 to 0 0.14 second and its frequency is 250 hertz. Ventricular filling sounds. These ventricular filling sounds occur either at rapid filling period of the ventricles that is the third heart sound or during 
the terminal phase of the ventricular filling that is atrial contraction a fourth heart sound the heart third heart sound lasts for 0.04 to 0.08 second and its frequency range is 10 to 100 hertz the fourth heart sounds lasts for 0.03 to 0.06 second and its frequency range is 10 to 50 hertz valve opening sounds these valve opening sounds occur at the time of the atrioventricular valves and semilunar valves extra cardiac sounds these extra cardiac sounds occur in mid or late systole or early diastole measurement of heart sounds heart sounds are acoustics resulting from the vibrations of the cardiac structures the sounds and murmurs from the heart can be picked up from the chest with the help of stethoscope the conversion of the heart sounds into electrical signals can be done by condenser microphone the sounds from the heart are termed as phonogram or phonocardiogram and the instrument used to measure heart sounds is called as phonocardiograph the technique of listening to sounds produced by the organs and vessels of the body is called as auscultation the representation of phonocardiograph instrument here is the graph that represents the comparison between the blood pressure aortic blood flow ventricular volume venous pulse heart sounds and the electrocardiogram the first graph represents the blood pressure here the valve opening as well as the valve closings have been represented the second graph represents the aortic blood flow it has been compared with the blood pressure the third graph represents the ventricular volume the fourth graph represents the heart sounds that occur in the heart the fifth graph represents the venous pulse that occurs in the heart the sixth one represents the electrocardiogram that is ECG here is the overall comparison between these heart sounds waveform representation is given below in this waveform we have s1 sound s2 sound s3 sound and s4 sound the heart sound s1 is due to onset of the ventricular contraction the heart sound s2 is due to the closure of the semilunar valves the heart sound s3 is due to ventricular gallop the heart sound s4 is due to atrial gallop the other that is opening snap ejection sound and murmurs regurgitation the blood flow in the opposite direction from the normal as the backward flow of blood into the heart or between the heart chambers is known as regurgitation it happens due to problems in the heart valves stenosis stenosis is an abnormal narrowing in the blood vessel it is associated with unusual heart sound